The Conservative Party has been in power in this country for 12 years. May 2010 was ultimately when David Cameron uh, formed a um, hung leadership, if you like, a hung parliament with the Liberals um, and said goodbye to Tony Blair and Gordon Brown and the Labour cabal that had been in power up to that point. So we've had three Conservative Prime Ministers, Theresa May, David Cameron, Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson now hands the baton to Liz Truss. But you're talking about four prime ministers over the course of uh, 12 years, effectively. Um, and there are many in the country who are asking themselves whether it's time for a change. Is there any reason why the Conservative Party as a whole should continue to get the national mandate? Well, of course, this wasn't about the national mandate. As we know, it was about 170,000 uh, voters in the Conservative Party who ultimately gave Liz Truss the edge by about 20,000. Decent turnout in excess of 80 percent, but there were some uh, destroyed ballots, interestingly enough. Um, so she does have a, a, a mandate here, but she doesn't have a national mandate. And I think that's the point I'm trying to make here. So she does need to demonstrate very quickly that she can address some of those key policy concerns that the country has at large. And we, we know what they are. They're all about the cost of living at the moment, the 40-year the high for inflation here in the UK, the energy problems we've got, the um, migration issues um, uh, across the channel. So it, it is a very full agenda. 